Shalom Aleichem, sweetest friends. This is so exciting. We are continuing our previous year on the topic of the Surah Arayas in Parshas Achremos. And we saw that there's Arayas of Eretz Mitzrayim, which is people who are nichna to their Yetzer, succumb to their Yetzer. And then there's Arayas of Eretz Kinan, where they made it a law, they made it a chok, that you don't have to keep these surim. That it became mutter. So now we'll explain the Psukim Bisiyata Dishmai, that that it says in Pasuk Chavdal and Alta Tamu Bukhol Ela ki Bukhol Ela Mitmua Goyim Asher Ni Mishalech Mepnechem. Don't become contaminated with all of these because with all of these, the Goyim that I sent before you were contaminated. That that it's, uh, we, it writes, Kol Atoyim, all of the abominations. Of course, we are commanded even on some of them because here we're not talking about the actual mice and it's not that you should be telling you don't, don't do all of them, but some of them you could do. That's not what it's saying. Here we're talking about the sug, the, ca- the category. What category is it? The category of Canaan. And what's Canaan? What type of arise do they do? They, for them, arise is mutter. They say, it's fine. Live and let live. Enjoy yourself. Don't uh, repress yourself. That's not healthy. Let loose. Whatever you feel like doing, do Rahman al They have this misora of Avu Sevasayim said, Ebu says, no, as Canaan told his children, like we saw in the previous year from the Gemara. So, them being in this situation brings that memela their nitma b'chol eila al titamu b'chol eila ki b'chol eila. Once you have a law that it's mutter and that it's that it's desiratadum, it's it's desired, it's it's uh, it's legislated, it's encouraged, then of course you're going to be nitma b'chol eila. Memela mitchayev she b'hagdara shel sug ze she ala ba asara neemar adavar. So too, we're told not to be like the Kananim who do all of these. It's not saying that if, if you do less, you're not warned. Of course, the Azhara is not doing any of the Arayas. But we're, we're defining the Sug Azhara. This is a Sug of Kanan where they're doing all of them. They're called Leila because that's the, that's the way they are there. Because they believe that it's mutter, it's fine. So it's not even a matter of ever overcoming yourself. Do it. It's encouraged. Like today, they say, oh, he's so brave. He's so brave. He, he came out and now he's, he's publicly, publicly married his, his boyfriend. So they say, oh, wow, he's so special. I, I, I respect him so much. It's so wonderful. So if that's going to be the attitude that people respect you for, 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 for being over on, uh, on, 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 the, on biblical laws of morality, then of course they're going to do them all. They say, oh, he's so amazing. He, he sleeps with his friend's wife. Look at that. Wow, he's such a loving person. He, he loves her and he loves her and he loves her. He loves his aunt. He loves this one. He loves that one. Prisons Rahman al Islam can be nichshan all the arise. Once you make it legal, then why not? That's Bukhal Eila. That's the society of Canaan, as we explained in the previous year. And on that it says in Pasuk Chof, Hey, Vatetame Aretz, Ve'efkot Avoyno Aleh, Vatoki Aretz is Yashvel, and the earth is going to be contaminated, and I will remember its sin on it, and the earth will vomit out its inhabitants. Shene'emar bezegam vatetame ha'aretz, vegam ve'efkot avona Aleh. It says two things. It says the earth is going to be contaminated, and I'm going to remember its sin on it. We have to understand. Sharei b'vadai. Mashmaut lashon vataki. What does vataki mean? Like Rashi writes in Pasuk Chofches. Because Eretz Yisrael doesn't hold on to over Aver like the Ramban is marich in Pasuk Chofhei. And if so, that that it says in Pasuk Chofhei, vatetam mei ha'aretz ve'efkot avoy no'aleo, that it's mashma. That the Siba of the Avon is in the land itself. That's Machai of Bitl Yoshvel. And it has nothing to do with Taki, which is about Hanhagas Aretz, Klape Hadover Sheyeshba. Sometimes something is in the land and the land can't take it, so the land vomits it out, it expels it. That's what Rashi says it means, Apostle Chavches. But here that doesn't seem to be what we're talking about. So how is this shtim? 
As the beginning of the pasuk, the earlier part of the pasuk, the efkod of ne'ale ba toki aritzis yeshve. The efkod of ne'ale is mashma that it's the sin of the earth, it's the sin of the land, and then vataki is mashma that it's not the land sin; it's that the land can't take those in it who are sinning. Zech matim a reishit a pasuk the efkod of ne'ale ha mashtu besov a pasuk vataki aritzit yeshve. And besides, we have to understand, what did the earth sin? It says, I'm going to remember it's sin on it. The Yaakar asks, the Alshich asks, the Ayn Sham. So, based on what we said, we can explain as follows. Shenachon, Hachet Atzmo, who Siba, לעניין שמבאר רש"י בפסוק כ"ח. רש"י explains a marshal of a ben melech that they gave him something disgusting to eat. And he's a ben melech, he's a prince, he's not used to these things. So he vomited it. So to Eretz Yisrael, it's very sensitive. So it vomits over Avera. And that's from Torah's Gohanim, the end of Parshish Kedoshi. The Haina. שהיות בארץ דבר מאוס שהוא מעשה החטא ופעולתו בחוטא הוא סיבה לפליטתו והכאתו. You have in Eretz Yisrael something disgusting, which is the act of sin. That is a reason that the earth will expel, will eject, will vomit. And Rashi is told of this. Rashi makes this dependent on the Ben Melech. Because of Adina's gufo, because of his sensitive body, he vomits, but others don't. So to Eretz Yisrael, it has a special myra. That's the way it reacts when something disgusting is in it. Like the Ramban is married here. Because it's Davka Machmas Malas Eretz Yisrael, and not in Chutz Laretz. And this has nothing to do with what we've been discussing, that besides the Maseachet, by the Kenanim, there was, they were in Vatal, the Indian of Arias. So that has nothing to do with the Maisa Apol Meisus. But rather, that's a Mitzius and a massive of Prisus. It, it, it creates this new reality in the Kenanim. And that's not shy to the Moshe of the Ben Melech. The Ben Melech is Eretz Yisrael, and Eretz Yisrael is sensitive, and it can't take over Avera. And then there's the Metzius of the Kananim, that they were a Vatel Yisra of Arayas. So those are two different things. Abba Mitzat Shani. The very fact that Eretz Yisrael is an Achsanya and a Mokom la Kananim, Shokokach Mitoavim Hem, Be'etzim Mautam. ביותם אנשים המופקעים מתועבת האריות, כיוון שארץ כנען היא נקראת שפירושו הוא חלות שם בארץ כמקום של בני כנען. So Eretz Yisrael is the host of the כנען. And they're so abominable in their very essence. These are people who are mufka mitoavas harayas. These are people who are removed from the feeling that harayas is an abomination. So since Eretz Canaan means it's the chalos shame in the Eretz, that it's the place of the people of Canaan, of these Canaanites. So that's a chalos of ovoin. Be'eretz atzma. That creates a sin in the land itself. Because it's the land, it's the place of these people. And we can talk about the, the sin being remembered on the land. So mitzad echod, the Canaanim have to leave because of vatitam aretz. They contaminated the land. They did these mice and rhyme. And therefore, Vataki Aretz is Yeshver because of their deeds. 
But not only is this the union of the Moshe of the Ben Melech, who couldn't take these over, the, the, he was too sensitive, he couldn't take the bad food. So there it is, so can't take over Avera, so vomits them up. But there's also the Efgor Avona. And, 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 and that's together with the Efgor Avona. It's together with the remembering the sin of the land. And that's what it says here in the Pasuk. That the Chatoim themselves, which are impure, which are tuma, and also the Hityachasut for the sin, Mitzat Ose Hachet, which is the Avon. That's what the Efgor Avoyna Aleha. It becomes the Avon of the land because it is the host of the Canaanites who said it's not, they're not doing abominations. So those two things, both the very sin and, and their relationship to sin, saying that it's not sinful, that brings to the Tok Eretz Yisrael Shvel And since this is the Mahalach, the Torah tells us, Al Tetamu B'chol Eile, Pasuch don't be contaminated with all of these. Because it's going to be bad news. The Goyim, they were, that I'm sending away, they were contaminated this way. And what happened? But both two things. It's because of the Maisim, because of the sins, because of these Arias. And also, and also I'm going to remember the sin of the earth, that it's the host. It has a chalos shame of being the the host of Canaan, who will mafkia from themselves any toeva for Arias, any feeling of abomination for Arias. And when Meilev, I talk Eretz Yisrael Shveh, the Pesach continues. The earth is going to spit you out. V'nimtza lefize, sh'nemar kan bapasuk, sh'haka'at ha-Kanaani me'erz Yisrael, ba mechamat shtei sibot, Two reasons for the expulsion of the Canaanites. Number one, Tumas Aretz Aide Averis, the contamination of the land through sin, and also the Avon Aretz, which hopefully we will explain more of. And since it's the Avon Aretz, the Efgor Avoyno Aleho, I'm going to remember its sin on it again, that it's now the host of the Canaanites, and who thinks sin is permitted, and therefore, that becomes the sin of the earth as the place of the host of the Canaanites. And that's what it looks like when it says in Torah's Kohanim, and the Pasuk Efgor Avon Aleha, Kemat Sheni Poseach HaPinkas, Miyad Ani Once I open up my Pinkas, my little notebook, my little record book, then immediately I'm going to collect everything. First of all, what does that have to do with the Efgor Avon Aleh? What does this mean? Besides that, we have to understand that Psichas HaPinkas, the opening up of this notebook, is Kedai Likvot. So what's the opening? And then, what's the, well, first of all, what's the point of the opening? The whole point of the opening is to, is to to collect. That seems no. But there's the stage of the opening. And then there's the totsa that once it's open, there's not just a gvia, but there's a gvia sakol. So what's the gvia chelkis for which the pinkas was originally open? And then what's the gvia sakol? And everything is being collected. So just to understand this medrash, so it's kohanim. Based on what we said, we understand very well. Sheikara gviya u pichata pinkas ligviya alacheta mevili de hakaarta aret et yoshveu. As we're going to see, I hope, that just to the sin alone, the earth should expel them. So the psichas ha pinkas, the opening up of this notebook, was just for the sin that they did. It makes them worthy of expulsion. 
But once it was open with respect to their sins, now there's also going to be a gzia. Now there's also going to be a, a complete collection. That's the Inyan of Efkor Avonu Aleha. Which is another Inyan. For which alone there wouldn't be a Pkid of Shiluch HaMen But once the Pinkas was open for the sins that they did, so the male is also Gvia on the Ve'efkor Avon Aleha, on the fact that it's the host of the Canaanim who uprooted the forbidden nature of sin. And they said everything is okay. We understand the Torah's plan. It's open for part A, for the, for the very sin for which alone, for that alone is worthwhile, makes them worthy of being expelled. And then once it's open, they also, they also get them for, up, for legalizing the sin. And that alone would not have made them worthy of being expelled. But together, now it's, they're getting it for both. So now we've been open, we've opened up our Pinkas. We have a lot more to explain to Sihat Bishmaya, a lot more. So I just hope Hashem gives us the Koach and the Moach, and we're able to continue on into the next year and to explain this more. And we should be Zoha Lilmo do the Lame Lishma Velasus, or the Kaimis called Divay Samatavasa Viahava. Amen, Viamain, Shalom, Shalom, Skirisbe.